Yes, my hair is slowly overtaking my face. I was gonna do yoga for you guys this week, but um, a catheter kind of put a dampener on my plants. So instead, I'm gonna be doing a completely revolutionary idea for a video, and that is a personality test. I thought it'd be fun to try one out, and I was like, I wanna do one, so why not do one for a video? So here I am. Also, do you like my jumper? Hey guys, it's Jamie, so I'm just gonna get on with doing this personality test. I'm expecting to come out as like a socially awkward, slightly unfriendly introvert. Apparently it takes less than 12 minutes, so hopefully this video won't be too long. Okie dokie. Right. You find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. Yes. Yes. You try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy inbox. I don't like a messy inbox, but I am all for replying to emails. I am a classic example of somebody who reads an email, goes, awesome, I need to reply to that, mark it as unread, flag it, pin it, whatever, and then don't reply to it for like six months. I will do slightly disagree. You find it easy to stay relaxed even when there is some pressure. Not at all. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> if I'm under pressure. Depends on the type of pressure, but generally if I'm under pressure or stressed, I can't stay chilled out. You feel superior to other people. Absolutely not. Strongly disagree. You are usually highly motivated and energetic. Motivated, yes. Energetic, no. So let's go for a slightly agree. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. Somewhat agree. Yeah. Your home and work environments are quite tidy. Oh. Not right now, but that's just because I can't really do any tidying, but generally, yeah, yeah, somewhat agree. You do not mind being at the centre of attention. I hate being at the centre of attention. That is like a really strong disagree. I can't stand it. I get really, really anxious if I'm going to be in a situation where I'm the centre of attention. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. Absolutely. Oh my god, that is the strongest agreement so far. It is often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. Somewhat disagree. Your mood can change very quickly. Depends on whether I've remembered to take my testosterone. <laughs> Slightly disagree. When I was a teenager maybe, but not now so much. You rarely worry about how your actions affect other people. Somewhat disagree. I do worry about the consequences of my actions on other people quite a bit. You're often envious of others. Slightly disagree. The time that I was most envious of anybody is when I was like waiting for testosterone and top surgery and watching other people have it. That That's like the thing that caused the most envy. But now that's done, I don't tend to get that envious of people. Occasionally over certain things, but not generally, no. An interesting book or video game is often better than a social event. Yes. Yeah. You often find yourself lost in thought when you're walking in nature. What happens if you don't walk in nature? The few times I have, yes, I'll do slightly disagree, slightly disagree, slightly agree, but I don't, I, don't, I don't really walk in nature that much. If someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying if you said something wrong. Absolutely. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys are getting this impression that I am fairly bad at being social and massively worried in social situations and interactions. <laughs> As a parent, you'd rather see your child grow up kind than smart. Yeah, agree. I would. I think kindness is incredibly important. When you sleep, your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events. No, no, my dreams are weird, like weird. You know when you wake up from a dream and you just feel all like, Ugh. I've had a lot of them recently. It does not take you much time to start getting involved in social activities at your new workplace. Disagree. <laughs> your emotions control you more than you control them. Slightly disagree, very, very occasionally my emotions can get the better of me, but in general, no. You enjoy going to social events, <laughs> we know where this is going, that involve dress up or role play activities. Disagree. If you had a business, you would find it very difficult to fire loyal but underperforming employees. Agree. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence. Somewhat disagree. Existential fear is not something I like to instigate in myself. <laughs> Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. Nah, I think sometimes you gotta go with your heart. I'll go with slightly disagree because logic is important, but sometimes the heart needs to have a bit of a decision in there. If your friend is sad about something, you are more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. Nah, I think a bit of both. I'll go slightly disagree because the emotional support thing is kind of more important. You rarely feel insecure. Somewhat disagree. You have no difficulties coming up with a personal timetable and sticking to it. Oh, the and sticking to it bit ruined that question. <laughs> yeah, I tend not to stick with it great. So that's a somewhat disagree. You feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. <laughs> no! Who feels more energetic after that? I always have a nap. 
<laughs> Disagree. You frequently misplace your things. Somewhat agree. Always misplacing my phone, but I don't often lose things like keys. You see yourself as very emotionally stable. Yeah, now. Yeah, somewhat agree. Your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. No, my mind's always asking when is nap time. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Somewhat disagree. You usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. Oh my god, who can feel relaxed when talking in front of many people? Agree, can I agree more with that? If the room is full, you stay closer to the walls, avoiding the center. Yeah, safer cover your back. You have a tendency to procrastinate until there's not enough time to do everything. No, I don't procrastinate a huge amount. Disagree. You feel very anxious in stressful situations. Yeah, I do. You believe that it is more rewarding to be liked by others than to be powerful. Agree. You often take initiative in social situations. This is the last question and it is a strong disagree. Oh, results. Right, your personality type is advocate. An advocate? Okay, I am 93% introverted, 7% extroverted. I am 51% intuitive and 49% observant. I definitely agree with the introverted thing. I'm surprised it's not 100%. Nature, taking that that's like how I behave. So like 69% is based on feeling and 31% based on thinking. Tactics, 56% judging, 44% prospecting. This trait reflects our approach to work, planning, and decision-making. Identity, this trait underpins all others, showing how confident we are in our abilities and decisions. I'm 65% turbulent, oh, and 35% assertive. No, I, yeah, I'm not a very assertive person. That's pretty accurate. Okay, the advocate personality type is very rare. Oh, making up less than 1% of the population but they nonetheless leave their mark on the world. Advocates tend to see helping others as their purpose in life. But while people with this personality type can be found engaging, rescue efforts and doing charity work, their real passion is to get to the heart of the issue so that people need not be rescued at all. That's cute. So apparently I have a combination of unique traits. Although often soft-spoken, they have a very strong opinion and will fight tirelessly for an idea they believe in. Decisive, strong-willed, but rarely use their energy for personal gain. Advocates believe that nothing would help the world so much as using love and compassion to soften the hearts of tyrants. I feel like some of this is quite accurate. You, like, you guys let me know how accurate you think this sounds about how I come across online and stuff, but like, knowing myself, I think I know myself, some of this is quite accurate. Strengths and weaknesses. Strengths of advocate personality types. Creative, insightful, inspiring and convincing, decisive, determined and passionate and altruistic. Okay. Weaknesses. Sensitive, extremely private, mm. perfectionistic. I'm not a perfectionist. Always need to have a cause. Can burn out easily. Ooh, romantic relationships. This is long. This is like, this description is really long. Advocates take the process of finding a partner seriously, not ones for casual encounters. Advocates will take the time necessary to find someone they truly connect with. Once they've found that someone, their relationships will reach a level of depth and sincerity that most people can only dream of. That's cute. Friendships. Advocates seek out people who share their passions, interests, and ideologies. People with whom they can explore philosophies and subjects that they believe are truly meaningful. This is just making me sound really deep. I don't think I'm this deep. In conclusion, few personality types are as sensitive and mysterious as advocates. Okay, cool. So apparently I'm an advocate. This was fun bit more serious than I thought it would be. I wanted to do one that was a bit more funny. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Apparently I'm sensitive and mysterious. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye guys.